Good day everyone and welcome to Meet the All Math Latin. Today we're going to work out the 2019 NCA Level 2 Algebra Examination. Let's go! The first question was solve 3x squared minus 6 equal to 7x. So remember when you have a quadratic, you have to make the equation equal to 0. So what we did, we minus 7x on both sides. And the equation we're going to look like this, so it's going to be 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0. The next step you're going to do, you're going to factorize that equation. So we're doing the trial and error method. So 3x squared is made up of 3x and x. And minus 6, there are many possibilities. And we try 2 plus 2 and negative 3. So when you cross multiply them, x times 2x, 2 is going to be plus 2x. 3x times minus 3 is going to be minus 9x. If you add them up together, then the answer is going to be negative 7x. And that's what we want in the middle of the equation. So if that is true, we're going to put a bracket around the numbers. So the equation is going to look like 3x plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. When you have that equation, you are going to solve that as though each bracket equals 0. So 3x plus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. Now it's simple. You minus 2 on both sides. So 3x is minus 2 divided by 3x is minus 2 third. The other side is simpler still plus 3 on both sides. So x equal to 3. So that's the answer. Two answers. x is minus 2 third or x to the 3. And that will be an achieve in NCEA level 2. Okay, another question on algebra. So the next question is solve that equation. So what I would do is very simple. I'm going to multiply this whole equation by x squared. Because when I do that, I'll get rid of all the fraction. So when x squared divided by x squared is going to be 1. So what's left in the numerator is going to be 3. On the second expression, x squared divided by x is going to be x, so x times 4 is going to be 4x. And the last one, 5 multiplied by x squared is going to be 5x squared. Again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away the other factors. If I minus 3 minus 4x on both sides, on the left hand side is going to be 0, and on the right hand side is going to be 5x squared minus 4x minus 3 equal to 0 after I rearrange the equation. So I tried the trial and error method, it didn't work. So the only other way I can do is doing the quadratic equation. So x equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Your a is your 5, your b is your minus 4, and your c is minus 3. When you substitute the equation into the quadratic equation, your x is going to be 1.27 or negative 0.47. And that, again, will be an achieve in NCEA level 2. We'll continue. Next question is a merit question. The merit question looks like this. So this is the equation given. You are given that C is equal to 5.05 .05 and K is 9.18. And T is only valid for the first 15 minutes. So the first thing you do, you're going to substitute in the value. So C is 5.05, .05, so 5.05 equals to 0 0.02 T squared minus 0 0.60. And your K was uh, 9.18. Rearrange the formula by minus 5.05 .05 on both sides. Because in a quadratic equation, you must make it a 0. The new equation will look like this. 0.02t squared minus 0.6t and then plus 4.13 equals 0. And again, you have to solve the quadratic equation. Again, you can do trial and error using the quadratic formula. If you remember, the quadratic form formula is minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and your a this time is going to be a is 0 0.02 your b 
is negative 0 0.6 and your c is 4.13 when you substitute this equation uh, these numbers into the equation we found out that t is equals to 19.3 minutes or 10.7 minutes because the condition was that it can only valid for 15 minutes this answer cannot take place because there's more than 15 minutes so the actual answer is 10.7 minutes okay now we will look at some power question or indices question so the first one looks like this so it's going to simplify that equation so what i would do first is that i would change the half the 0 0.5 into a fraction so it's going to be 9 a squared b minus 4 to the power of half so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to break them down into three different parts so it's going to be 9 half a squared half and b minus 4 half if you know the indices rule you can multiply the power so the first number 9 half is actually the square root of 9 or you put in a calculator 9 half is going to be 3 a squared half you can multiply the power together so you're going to be squared times half is going to be 1 so it's going to be a1 or a and the last one b minus 4 times half is going to be b minus 2 in all indices question you cannot leave your answer as a negative answer so b minus 2 is the same as 1 over b squared so you're going to change that to 1 over b squared so it's going to look like 3a over b squared and that will be an achieve. Okay, another indices question coming up. This time you have a negative indices. So whenever you have a negative indices here, you're going to change it to positive indices by doing one divide by two a over three b four because it's squared. It's going to be squared. This actually means one over 2a over 3b4 multiply by itself 2a over 3b to the power 4 then you if you multiply them together you're going to be 1 over 4a squared over 9b4 again that means 1 divided by 4a squared over 9b4 if you know you need to change it to multiplication when you change the multiplication you swap the second fraction about so it's going to be 9 b4 over 4 a squared and that will be the answer and that is another achieve okay the next question is perhaps the hardest and the longest and this is a merit okay so what you're going to do the first thing i would do i will just going to factorize the first and the second fraction so the first fraction c squared minus 9 is a uh, difference of 2 squared c plus 3 c minus 3 similarly the second factor wise is going to do the trial and error c minus 3 c minus 1 the numerator still remain the same 2 c plus 1 c minus 2 okay now you need to have a denominator that can divide by the three numbers here so the common denominator is going to be c plus 3 c minus 3 and c minus 1 so this number can divide by both this and this so now with you look at the first one this divide by this what's left is c minus 1 so what you're going to do you're going to put c minus 1 on top and 2c plus 1 that is this part and the second one is going to be when you take this divide by that c plus 3 remains so c plus 3 and then you're going to put c minus 2 now you're going to expand the first expansion is going to be 2c squared minus 2c plus c minus 1 that is the first bracket and the second expansion is going to be c squared plus 3c minus 2c minus 6 and the denominator will still be the same is c plus 3 c minus 3 and c minus 1 okay now we're going to simplify that part so the first part like term so we're going to see like term here this and this are like term this and this are like term simplify them so you're going to be 
2c squared minus c minus 1. And then you simplify, you open the bracket, c squared, 3c minus 2c is going to be plus c minus 6. And you do the same for the denominator, c plus 3, c minus 3, c minus 1. Now you're going to do the like term again. So c plus minus c plus c is going to cancel out. So 2c squared plus c squared is 3c squared minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7 and the denominator is the same c plus 3 c minus 3 c minus 1 and that gentleman and ladies is a merit in ncea level 2 okay the next question is again another merit question this time this is factorize to factorize this is quite simple so the first two numbers, there's no common factor. So what you're going to do, you're going to reshuffle the equation. So it's going to be Fm, and there's m there, so you're going to put minus 2gm, and we're going to leave the 3fn minus 6gn. It's exactly the same. I'm just going to break them down into two different factors. So the first bracket, the common factor is m. m is common, and what's left is f minus 2g. Similarly, in the second fraction, the common factor is 2, is again 2, uh, 2, uh, 3, sorry, 3n. And when you take out 3n, you are left with f and you minus 2g. So from here, you can see that these two are common factor. You can take it out. So it's going to be f minus 2g is a common factor. And what is left is m plus 3n. And that will give you a merit in this paper. So we have done three merit questions and four achieve questions. Now we are going to look at the question three in the exam. Question three is a log question. There's always a log question in the MCA level two. So you need to know this this rule. Log, it is log form and this is the index form, the power form. So the first thing you do, you have to change it into that form. So what you do, you're going to swap the 3 equals to log to the base 5m. The same form. So now we go the last number, m. Okay. So m is going to be your first number and 5 cube. So now you can put your calculator. It's 125 and that will give you an easy achieve. Okay. The next one. Carry on. Okay. Next one is going to be simpler still. So you need to know the three indices rule. The first rule, if you plus the log, you're going to multiply them. If you minus the log, you divide them. And n at the bottom, you can bring the n to the top. And n can be the power. So in this case, the first thing you do, the 2 can be brought up to be a power. So your equation is going to be log 6 minus log y squared. Because this is a minus, you can use this formula. So it's going to be log 6 over y squared. And that will be good enough. Because when they ask you to write as a log of a single number, they want log of a number. So this is a log of that number. So that will give you a simple achieve. And the last question, we're going to do a log word problem. It will have the formula given to you. And this formula is given in a question. And they tells you that Capital N is equal to N naught 1.053 to the power T. Your job is to calculate what is the time. So the first thing you do, you're going to substitute the N by 3 N naught. So 3 N naught equals to N naught 1.053 T. Then what you're going to do, you get rid of this N naught by dividing by N naught and divide by N naught. This N naught will cancel out and you are left with 3 is equal to 1053t. I swap it around, so it's going to be 1.053t equals to 3. Okay, now this is interesting. You have to solve for t. So what you do, going to lock both sides. So when you lock both sides, so you're going to be lock 1.053t equals to lock 3. And this t can come down, so t lock 1.053 equals to log 3 and the last step you divide both sides by log 1053 
log 1.053 this will cancel out so put your calculator and the answer is going to be 21.27 weeks and that will give you a merit so we have done a couple of a chief question in each question and a couple of merit question in each paper if you keep on practicing you'll be fine and hopefully you will pass and if not get a merit in this paper if you work hard thank you and enjoy watching